Hello and welcome to Theme Park Worldwide where we're still here in sunny Blackpool for our third vlog of the week. We've already been at Blackpool Pleasure Beach where we had a fantastic time, didn't we? It was brilliant, oh. had a great time. And then today we've been over on South Pier, done a few of the rides up on there, including the awesome crazy spinning coaster down there at the end of the pier where we had a very good spin, didn't we? It was crazy. But we've made our way now down to Central Pier. You can see it there just behind us. One of three piers down here in Blackpool. Of course, you've got the South Pier, Central Pier and the North Pier. I mentioned this in the previous Spot, but I'll say it just again. Over on the North Pier, they've only got one ride at the moment. That's just a carousel, so we're not going to be doing a vlog on there this time. But we might do it later in the year at some yeah, point. Maybe. Uh, the North Mountain Entertainment down there, and they've got quite a nice uh, cocktail bar down there. So we might show you that later in the year and have a ride on the carousel. But uh, yes, of course, we're going to make our way down to Central Pier. Of course, at the time of recording this, indoor attractions are still closed. So things like the arcades and uh, eating inside—that's not allowed to happen. However, it should be able to from the 17th of May. So we'll make our way down here and we'll show you out the front of the pier and then we'll make our way on and we're going to be riding the iconic ferris wheel you can see it there just behind us in the middle of me and charlotte uh, we're going to be heading on there you get some absolutely stunning views i've not been on there for years actually and i think the last time i did it it was at night and charlotte i've here, never been on it never been on the iconic no. blackpool wheel or the wagon wheel as i remember when i was a kid like driving down the illuminations with my parents and seeing wagon wheel lit up there but we'll make our way down there there's a matterhorn ride to get on uh, unfortunately there was actually a fire here last year uh, we've actually got the Matterhorn back in action now over the past week or so that's there now back at working and also as well I believe some of the buildings that were destroyed um, are now rebuilt or at least in the process of that so we'll head down there and come and join us for a few rides on Central Pier in Blackpool Oh, so there's an awesome view of the iconic Blackpool Tower itself. And just below it there, you can see the white building. It says free entry on the side. So yeah, I just want to mention, of course, the piers. Completely free to go on. You don't need to pay for any of the three piers to actually walk on them. So, of course, we'll take a stroll down. Lots of different uh, food outlets, of course, on there. Lots of games. And, of course, you've got the big wheel there itself. We'll head up there and you get some great views. Looking at the wheel itself, you think it's not that high, but when you're on there, because you're already raised up on the pier and you're above the water, I mean, the tide's in now at the moment this afternoon. Um, so, yeah, it's pretty high on there. So, we'll get some great views uh, all the way down the promenade, the Golden Mile, and, of course, of Blackpool Tower. And you can see you've got the Matterhorn ride there as well. There's a Miami, a couple of other rides on there. And we'll, of course, show you those. And then we'll take a stroll down the pier. We've got the Helter Skelter there, some of the kids' rides. And of course, they've got a bar down there at the bottom as well, which I imagine is outdoor seating only at the moment because of the restrictions. As you can see, they've got quite a bit of outdoor seating available. And normally, they have some good entertainment in there in the daytime for free. So, yeah, we'll make our way down to the entrance and we'll show you the front of Central Pier here in lovely sunny Blackpool. So we made it down here to the entrance of Central Pier and of course here you can see the pretty iconic frontage there of course Blackpool Central Pier up there in lights for everybody to see and of course you've got Pirates Bay Family Bar which is down at the end of the pier and like I said there's normally some really good free entertainment in there we've been down there before haven't we seen some of the yeah, entertainment yeah, so it's, good, yeah. Yeah, it's quite nice got a nice bar down there reasonably priced as well of course it's outdoors only at the moment normally you'd be able to go straight through the arcade uh, but of course you go up the side this is the exit at the moment you're entering on the right hand side just there as well because of social distancing so make our way down here and we'll head on to the pier of course it's always nice to be right down here near to Blackpool Tower and of course if you're not familiar with Blackpool we've got the trams here as well of course you can use the trams all the way down the seafront here and beyond they go a lot further all the way down to Fleetwood um, but yeah of course the tram system's always really good here in Blackpool but here we go let's go and uh, get on the pier so first you've got a map up just here of Central Pier of course you can see where we're coming in just down the bottom with the arcade I'm walking down the bottom here of course the big wheel the iconic part of course the Central Pier some more little rides around here and of course Pirates Bay down there at the bottom it's an absolutely gorgeous afternoon here in Blackpool. Just thought I'd show you this nice outdoor bar that they've got set up down here. Right next to the beach, well I say the beach, of course the tide's in at the moment, but you know what I mean. Uh, we're looking out over the water and of course you can also see North Pier just over there in the distance as well. Like I say, there's no rides on there other than a carousel that's just down there at the bottom. 
zoom in a little bit faster for you. There you go, inside that little building there, the first building that you can see, um, that's where they've got a carousel. It looks like there's an inflatable down there at the bottom as well. But yeah, really nice uh, area down here, what they've got set up. It's open on an evening as well, of course. They have all like the flames and stuff to keep you warm there, nice little heaters. And yeah, great view over towards Blackpool Tower. What a nice vibe, summer vibes. Okay then, so after a short queue, we're here on Central Pier. So I'll give you a zoom back down there, of course, towards South Pier and also Blackpool Pleasure Beach over there as well. Like I said, we've got vlogs from both of those that have gone online here on the channel this week. But yes, we're going to be heading on to the big wheel shortly, get some really nice views from up there. Like I say, with you being up here on the pier, you're already quite high at this point, but then of course, when you get up there on the wheel, you're even higher. Okay, you've got loads of different cafes, bars, um, game stands down here as well. And there's a look at the big wheel, and it's lovely weather for it as well. Gorgeous, might even have a Mr. Whippy. Well, I must say, it is very busy this afternoon here on Central Pier. There's a lot of people, a lot of people. But okay, we've got some tokens, £12.10 for these. So we paid for two tickets for the big, big wheel, wheel, and then I'm going to go on the Matterhorn. So £4.40 it was for the big wheel. Yeah, not too bad here. No, no, and then how much was it for the... Um, it's about £3. Yeah, just, just over like £3 pound to go on the yeah. Rock and Roll Express as it is down here. Loving these old school paper tickets but here as well for 20 pounds you can get 25 tickets yes. um, down here as well but of course not as many rides to go on here you used to have one of your favorites on here techno yes. jump frog bounce but oh. that is not on here anymore i knew it had gone but they've got more kids rides down yes. on this pier than the other one and of course the big classic wheel just here the wagon wheel as it used to be known when i was a kid so we're gonna get on there and we'll take you for a ride around and get some stunning views so to be fair, this is quite a good deal. Stay in your seat and ride again for just one ticket. Considering it's four tickets, that's not too bad. And as you can see, all second rides, one ticket, but you must remain seated. And it's got a little asterisk next to it, but it doesn't say anything else down there. But you know what? Looking forward to getting back on this. It's been years since I've been on this. You got Xtreme over there as well. Miami Wave just next to it. Mini Miami there as well. And you've got a couple more kids rides over on this side that you'll see in a moment when we're on. Here we go then, on the Blackpool Central Pier, big wheel, I told you it's quite high from up here, like you get to see really far, look at the views, and yeah the fact that you're over water, it's really good isn't it, it's nice isn't it, nice relaxing ride, look at the views you get, Blackpool Tower over there, absolutely stunning, of course with these ferris wheels, you know they load all the gondolas up and then send you around a few times, I think we were actually the last ones to get loaded on. So yeah, you got uh, a small Ferris wheel there as well. And also along with that, you got the little carousel. Thank you. We got the flying bob over there. I'm going to be taking you on. Look at how busy it is though down here. Ooh, it's a bit busy, a bit busy. Got a little frog hopper down there. There's a little plane ride. Helter Skelter down there. Yeah, love it. You feel a lot higher than you actually are because you're up on the pier. All the trams over there and of course over in the distance you can see Stanley Park actually over there as well as where Blackpool Zoo is. There's a, a miniature village there as well which is good. Ooh. Mini Miami is in action over there. Oh, wow, when you go by that speaker, oh Charles having a dance on the big wheel, love it. All the Pennines over there in the distance. Lovely clear afternoon though now. Really nice. Football stadium over there as well. Yeah, Stanley Park's just over there in the distance where you can see all the trees. Maybe you have to head down there, Blackpool Zoo at some point. Yeah, I'd like to do that. Might be some goats. Maybe. <laughs> Ever since I was a kid, I've always loved a big wheel. Like, honestly, there's just something about them, especially this one here. Like I said, I've not been on it for years, and that's why I wanted to come on it again today. Just look at it. There's extreme in action there, Miami. It is fun how the uh, Mini Miami's right next to it as well. Just so nice seeing everybody out having a good time. Do you feel like they've left a few too many on here though? It is a bit busy, isn't it? Yeah. It is a bit busy, Bob. I'm gonna take you on the Flying Bob next, the Matterhorn that there is down there. So yeah, like I say, you know, there was a fire here on the pier last year. And quite a bit of work's been done now to um, get this section back open again. Yeah, of course, over there, you can see where they put the large inflatable. All that area was affected by the fire. And of course, you can see the building there, what's been 
rebuilt at the moment there with all the wooden framework on. Oh, what a place to start. Lovely, let's chill out up here now as the unload of the people. That's the great thing there, you get a good long ride on here, over five minutes. Yeah, it looks great, perfect to get some nice photos. We can zoom in from here over towards the big one. Over there, Blackpool Pleasure Beach, let's see how far we can zoom. Oh yes, look at that. Oh, the big one's just starting to go up the lift hill there. What a cracking view. Of course, you've got the Sandcastle Water Park down there as well. That's down by Pleasure Beach and also, of course, South Pier as well. Don't look down. That inflatable looks really good fun down there, doesn't it? Oh, I know. I wish we could go on here. I used to love them as a kid. So it does, doesn't it? We need to get to like, one of them adult inflatable parks. Yes. That'd be really good fun to do at some point. Oh, and there's Blackpool Tower. Of course, at the moment, that's closed because it's an indoor attraction. You go up in a lift. That is closed at the moment, but look forward to getting back there. We'll film some updated vlogs. Down here in Blackpool, of course, you've got Madden Two Swords. That's just the red building that you can see there. A little bit further to the left, you've got the Sea Life Centre. And even further along, Coral Island, that's good in there. Of course, you've got a little monorail ride and a fantastic ghost train. Then you've got the Blackpool Tower itself and also the Blackpool Tower Dungeon just over there as well, which is always fantastic. Nowhere else in the world like Blackpool. Such a unique place. I mean, I've always loved since I was a kid. It's always great to get back here. Wonderful getting on the big wheel here on Central Pier on such a nice day. Of course, you've got Extreme down here. Three tickets to ride this one. I went out of Miami earlier on, so I'm not going to be riding this one. All very similar experiences. And this one's got a massive queue. Did you enjoy your ride on the big wheel? Lovely. The views are great up there. Yeah. Really nice. Right then, I'm going to take you on the Flying Bob just over here now. Let's get up a ride on there. Of course, you can see all the lighting and nice set of what they got down here. Here we go, let's get up a ride. I think they just took some people off. A bit too intense. I think that's what they'd be doing with Charlotte, to be honest, if you came on. They'd be like, yeah, we need to get somebody off. Get me off. Well, here we go. I'll get them a ride. I'll get the chest mount on. Charlotte will get a little bit of off-ride footage as well. And yeah, I'll take you on with the chest mounted GoPro. Quite a big queue. Let's go and ride. <laughs> Only waited about 10 minutes there, two cycles, and to be honest, even though it's busy, looks like we're going to be getting a pretty good cycle on here, which is great. Love a good cycle on a good Matterhorn. Hey! Woo! Here in sunny Blackpool. Woo! Oh yes! Oh, love it! You get some good swing on this, oh yes! Woo! Woo! Honestly, one of my favourite fairground rides these are. Here we go, speeding up again now, round two. Woo! Oh yes, love it! Got some screams going on here today. Scream if you want to go faster. Here we go. On Theme Park Worldwide on YouTube. Love it. Woo! Slowing down now. Are we going to get round three? Then we should be going backwards on this one as well. I like seeing all the work into this. See the wheel just in the middle here. Seeing a bit of behind the scenes look at the uh, ride there in action. Quite a simple ride system actually. Oh, still one of my favourites. Woo! It's 
Three in a row. Way. Oh, here we go. Woo! I tell you what, it's been a while since I've done loads of spinny rides in one day, but I love it. You can't be the atmosphere of the fun fair. Woo! Hey, oh, wow. Woo! Full speed now, what a swing. Wow. Woo! Oh, wow. Oh, boy, me. Oh, wow, that is amazing. It was like I was going to swing out. Oh, we're going backwards. Oh, that was amazing, that was then. I think when you've only got one of you in, you actually go a lot higher. There's Charlotte over there. Whee! I thought she had a Primark bag then, but it's the person behind her. We're all right. We're going backwards now. Here we go. Woo! Always more fun forwards, in my opinion. But it's good to end the ride with a backwards section. Whee. Woo. Really long cycle as well. I've actually been going for four minutes on here. Whoa, that's intense. It's actually one of the best ones of these I've been on, to be honest. Really good. Some of them don't really go that fast backwards, but this one certainly does. Case House down here to the piers in Blackpool. Oh, brilliant. What a ride. About four and a half minutes in total there. Brilliant. Well worth the money. Fantastic. Well, that was absolutely brilliant on there. Really long cycle. Close to five minutes I was on there. Charlotte would not have liked it. I've been on one before. Oh, oh, okay. Right, yeah, you'll want to sunplay again, but that was great. Just thought we'd show you this whilst we're still here on the pier. Look at this. Whoa. You actually win an electric scooter in here. I think they're actually illegal, aren't they, on the roads and pathways, but you can have them on private land. But, oh, you're out right there, mate. Just thought I'd show you these. Two pound to play. I don't really know what you do. Like, it's massive, like these different. I don't really know, but there you go, you see it's in the mirror at the end. You can win a Sean and Charlotte in that one. Two pound, what a bargain for that. Love it, right? We're gonna have a little walk down towards the end of the pier. You know, along with that, you got most of the other kids' rides on here. Like I said, there used to be a frog bounce, one of Charlotte's favourites. There's not any more, unfortunately. Gutted, but uh, if there was, I'm sure you'd have gone on. Yeah. But you got a few other rides for the kids down there. Oh, look at all these here, here we go. Love all these classics. So Charlotte's giving us a demo. Here we go. Oh, you're going really high up. There you go. Got a little pirate Charlotte up there. What I am. You're a little pirate. I'm a pirate. Yeah, you got a sword just there as well. See what you are down in the next one. There we go. Oh, here we go. Got the classic uh, beauty contest there going on. Donkey rides. Five pound for donkey rides. Is, is Charlotte going to be the donkey? Oh no, she's not. She's the, the you're the person on the, the donkey's just at that side of you there. He's doing a friendly teeth chatter there, I think. Friendly teeth a friendly chatter. teeth chatter. I don't really know where I came from, but ah. there you go. He's doing a friendly, uh, a friendly teeth chatter there for you. Lovely. And there you go. Now you're a small child who's just bouncing up in the air on that one. But uh, no, it's great fun down here over on the pier. It's very busy down here. But yeah, we'll just show you these uh, other little rides there is down here for if you're going to be coming. Oh, yes, please. Hot, fresh donuts or a Mr. Whippy. To be honest, with how warm it is, I'm feeling like a Mr. Whippy now. Oh, what a tune. We get it almost every night. Charlotte's having a dance here on the pier. Love it. Charlotte's dancing, everybody. So, by the piers, we have Bert bobbing around in the sea all by himself. Are you having a nice day, Bobbing Bert? Bobbing Bert the seagull, everybody. If you only just started watching Theme Park Worldwide, let me explain. Basically, we call seagulls, all seagulls that we like are called Bert for some very weird reason. <laughs> because Charlotte has got a fascination with not just goats, but also Gulls. seagulls as well. You love seagulls, don't you? I'm not as keen on seagulls. I love goats, what? but seagulls, did it steal your chips? When I was a <laughs> child, I got attacked by a seagull. It didn't poo on your head, did it? No, it like swarmed in from my pram. The swarm, that's a thought chips. park, isn't it? Thought park. So it's like a different pier down here. I do like seagulls. 
I'll tell you what, you can tell there's demand for rides. They may as well rip all this out down here and put some more rides in. So That's what I say. You get an RMC or something on here. Can you imagine? <laughs> no, on a serious note, some more fairground rides would be great down here. Honestly, I love Blackpool on days like this. It's gorgeous now. And there's nowhere else in the world quite like Blackpool. It's a real hard place to describe. It's not just a normal seaside town. Of course, you've got the heritage and like the tower, the ballroom is stunning, the pleasure beach. But then, of course, you've got so many more modern attractions. And fingers crossed, in a few years' time, a new indoor entertainment complex and uh, slash indoor theme park is going to be opening called Blackpool Central. I'll zoom into the site where it's going to be. So it's going to be kind of behind the uh, Sea Life Centre and the arcade just there, the Gold Mile Amusements. That's all going to be um, kind of part of this complex over there that hopefully is going to get built. Sounding really promising and I really hope so because it'll rejuvenate a, an old car park and create a fantastic um, tourist attraction for people to enjoy. What are you doing? Are you dancing for Bert? Little dance. Do a little dance. You're so much dancing from Charlotte over the past three vlogs. Honestly, it's been a lovely few days. Look lovely. Oh, look at them all. Charlotte's in her element. I'm in my nightmare. But <laughs> we'll have a little look down here and uh, show you down the end. And here we are then, right down at the end of the central pier. Do you fancy a swim, Charlotte? No, it puts me out. <laughs> yeah, you know, Charlotte's not a massive fan of water, hence why she doesn't really like the water eyes lows, to be honest. But no, you, get water. <laughs> you, you, you get one of them. You got on the water eyes though, to be fair. It's more like deep water. Yeah, that, that's completely understandable. I'm sure there's a lot of people like that out there. But tell you what, lovely just down here, isn't it? Really nice. Of course, you can grab a drink, grab a pint. Like I say, it is outdoor seating only at the moment. But you can sit back, relax, and enjoy the fantastic views. Like that view there down towards the Pleasure Beach. Ice Blast and flying machines there on the left. The big one in the middle. And you also see the top of the Big Dipper. Sandcastle Water Park. And of course, South Pier as well. Look at that. Like, so I've just bought a whippy for two pounds. That is how it's been served. That is not how a whippy should look. Strawberry one, like, which I asked for, like strawberry and white. But look at that. Like, it's got a slope on it. Oh, oh it's nice though. Delicious, but yeah. Yeah, it's a, bit, it's a bit funny that, isn't it? Not it's been a very, squashed whippy. It's not been done very well, but it tastes good. I guess that's the main thing. It's only two pounds. Supporting a local business. Lovely. Well, I tell you what, it might not have looked the best, that ice cream. It was absolutely delicious, wasn't it, Charlotte? It was okay. I'm not oh. really... No, I'm not really a big strawberry fan, oh. so... Oh, I yeah. thought it was really nice. Anyway, it didn't look the best, but it tasted really good. Always nice to have a whippy when you come for a walk along Blackpool Piers or the Promenade. But I'll tell you what, the sun's shining. It's absolutely lovely now, it's isn't it? It's completely different day. I can't believe it. But yeah, we've had a nice couple of rides down here. Not done all the rides, but of course, there's not quite as much to do rides-wise as there is down on South Pier. We did the Crazy Coaster down there. I went on the Miami. Uh, we did the Dodgers down there, didn't we? Yeah. So check out that vlog if you've not seen it. But I absolutely love the big wheel down here. And of course, you've never been on it, it before. It really nice. I enjoyed it. It is, yeah. And you're on there maybe five, six minutes. So you get a really good cycle. It's plenty of money. Yeah, it is plenty of time to get your views across Blackpool and take it all in. Along with that, there's a Dodgems down here. There's a couple of other bits. Like I say, you've got the Kids Miami, the normal one. There's a couple of other kids rides. To be honest, there's probably more for the little ones down here than there is at South Pier, in my yes, opinion. Uh, well, there's no coasters down here. The benefits, to be honest, for like a Caterpillar coaster or something would be good down here. Yeah, that'd be really good. Compliment the other kids' rides, what they've got. But uh, there you go. What a wonderful view just behind us. Blackpool Tower to wrap up the third and final vlog this week from Blackpool. Three vlogs in a week from Blackpool. Wow. Uh, it's been great, though, of course. Pleasure Beach, South Pier, and also here on Central. Uh, we might come and do these again at some point later in the year, maybe. Who knows? Or, like I said, we might check out North Pier at some point if we put some more rides on there. Or maybe, you know, we'll just show you the carousel and do a mini vlog from there at some point. We'll have to see. But uh, thanks for joining me and Charlotte in this little series of vlogs. Lots more coming up here on Theme Park Worldwide this year. In fact, we're only just getting started, aren't we? I'm so excited. It's the first week of May. We've still got lots to do around the UK. We've done a lot of the bigger parks now. But we've got lots more coming up. We're heading up to the Yorkshire parks at some point. Of course, Flamingo Land, when they open up their full rides, will be there. Um, along with that as well, plenty of other parks to get to. And lots of seaside destinations that we love doing over the summer, isn't there? So stay tuned for those here on Theme Park Worldwide. But from me and Charlotte, here from a very sunny Blackpool, that leaves us one final thing to say. Get, get out, out there and keep, keep on, on riding. riding. See you all in the next vlog.